Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Zen. I do sewing tutorials and pattern making. And for today's video, I'll be showing you on how to draft the basic waistband for skirt or pants. The waistline of a skirt or pants may be finished with an attached waistband or face without a band. An attached waistband should be larger than the true waistline measurement. To compensate for the thickness of the darts and seam allowances stitched into the band. The ease allowance varies but generally one half the ease allowed for waistline, for example one inch ease at waist and one half inch ease for waistband is added to the waistband length. The waistline of the skirt has ease allowance greater than the waistband. Ease helps to eliminate possible abdominal stress and a rolling of the skirt just below the band. The extension of the waistband is for a button and button hall. The extension can be planted, pointed, or curved and can extend more or less than 1 inch. The measurements that you need are number 1, waist. The number 2 is the front waist arc. So here's an example, let's say you have a 24 inch waist and take note of the extension and the ease that you have to add. So ngayon, pwede na natin simulan yung pattern drafting. So the first thing you need is, of course, your craft paper or any pattern paper. And then, fold lang natin siya. Um, fold it na bigger a bit bigger sa width ng, me, ng waistband mo. So, ayan, yung folded part na yan, dyan tayo magsisimula. A to B is equal to finished width squared from fold. So, mark it with A and then B. So, yan yung finish width natin. That's the finish width. B to C is equal to waistband length squared from B. So B to C is equal to waistband length squared from B. Next is C to D. C to D is equal to 1 inch extension. This 1 inch extension is for button and buttonhole. Squared to fold line. Again, squared to fold line. Next is B to E. B to E is equal to one half of B to C. This one half of B to C is the location for center front. Let's say center front of your skirt. Mark it with letter E. So that's E. That's the center front. Next is you can do this only if required. So locate the side seam notches out from each side of E using front waist arc measurement plus 1 8 inch. So yan, pwede na natin i-add yung mga sewing allowance. So add 1 half inch seam allowance. And if you decided na gumamit ng buttons, you can now locate your buttonhole and your button placement. So ito na mismo yung pattern natin ng waistband for your skirts. And you can also use this pattern para sa pants or trousers. So same lang din. And now we can cut the fabric and infusible. fusible. So again, you need a fusible for this. 
So ayan, ipo-fold lang natin yung fabric natin and then cut on fold siya. So ibig sabihin naka-fold din yung pattern natin, then yung fabric. So kapag naka-pin in place, ayan, pwede na natin siyang i-cut. When cutting the fusible, um, hindi ko na sinama or hindi ko na consider yung sewing allowance. So, para hindi siya matigas tahiin. After cutting, we can now apply the fusible. So, ayan. Lagay nyo lang siya sa gitna. So, as you notice, hindi kasama yung sewing allowance. As I've said, mas madali kasi siya ang tahiin. So, kung kasama yung sewing allowance, medyo matigas yan tahiin. And then, i-fold lang natin siya ulit sa gitna. Then, press. So, here's an example of a half size skirt. So, we'll be using this an example of skirt. And to show you how to attach the waistband. So, first, you need to mark yung center front ng waistband and then yung center front of the skirt. So, after marking the center front, match nyo yung mga notches na yan. And then, pin in place. After pinning, pwede na natin siyang tahiin. Sew it down with 1 half inch sewing allowance. After sewing, tahiin natin yung end ng waistband na yan with 1 half inch sewing allowance. Same din ang gagawin natin sa other end ng waistband which is the extension. Just fold it in the middle and then sew it down with 1 half inch sewing allowance. After sewing, i-cut natin yung corner to lessen the bulk. After cutting, flip your waistband and then poke out the corners using a chopstick or any pointed tool. And then fold your waistband in half. Sa wrong side ng skirt, fold in yung mga edges, yung raw edges of the waistband. So naka-encase siya sa waistband and then pin in place. After pinning, we can now do the stitch in the ditch. I have a detailed tutorial on how to do this. So make sure na gagamit ka ng matching thread. Especially kung gagawin mo itong stitch na to. Yung stitch in the ditch. Kasi yung purpose na to is dapat hindi mahalata or hindi ganang kahalata yung tahe. Kasi yung tinatahin natin is mismo yung sa pagitan ng waistband and the skirt. After sewing, press your waistband. So don't forget to press para maging mas crisp and mas professional tingnan ang ating skirt or pants. And also para mas maging kapit pa yung fuse na ginamit natin. So pwede na natin ilagay ang button hole and yung button. Or you can also use hook and eye, which is yun ang pinaka-common nakikita ko sa mga skirt, yung hook and eye. Or instead of using the eye, you can use French tack or chain tack para sa loop. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something new from this video. 
and please like subscribe and share this video with all of your friends and i'll see you next time bye